Hi everyone, we're Tim and Shahad. And I'm Ruby. Welcome to our channel. We are a full-time traveling family sharing our experiences around the world to inspire and be inspired. We've learned that the most amazing experiences come from stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging yourself to see things from a different perspective, whether that be trying new foods or living like the locals. There's always a lesson that can be learned and always room for improvement. Traveling has taught us that the good times would not feel as good without the bad times, and the world is not as scary as it seems. So stick around and join our adventure as we explore, learn, and grow. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here in Sandakin, Sabah, Saba, <laughs> and we are gonna head to an extremely cool place today. Where are we going, Ruby? Guyana Island. Yeah. We're gonna take like a 50 minute to an hour flight north to the northern side of Borneo, which um, is Kota Kinabalu is like the city name. And then we're gonna take a boat over to an island called Gaia Island. Yeah. And then we're gonna stay at like an overwater bungalow there. Yeah, like it's, the Maldives. Yeah, it's supposed to be like crystal clear water and stuff. So we're super excited about that. Yes, and they do a lot of marine work at the resort. So hopefully we will be able to learn more about that and all the animals and the coral <laughs> and all of that stuff. So that'll be so fun. Yeah. And then we have one very important goal that we're gonna try to accomplish these next couple of hmm. days. <laughs> Snorkeling, teach snorkeling. Yes. Learn to snorkel. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna get Ruby more comfortable with snorkeling. Yes, so Ruby is gonna come out being a snorkeling champ after this. That's our goal, so. Yes, <laughs> hopefully it works. Ruby's <laughs> a little bit nervous now, aren't you? Just a little bit. A little bit nervous to get in the water with animals. So we're gonna try to work on getting her a little no, more comfortable. No, Mama's the scary one about getting in the water with I am oh not. Scary animals. I am Wait, not. Wait, do you remember what that thing was called? Yeah, the piranhas. Yeah, the piranhas. <laughs> you were scared. That was one time. No, Willow, you kept saying it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. I guess I'll have to practice too, won't I? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. So we have to just jump on a real quick flight and then we will be there. So let's go. What type of fish are they? Uh, groupers. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, giant groupers. Wow. We will keep them in a minute, yeah? Very cool. <laughs> they they smart too. If I put my hand in there, they will not they will not go for it. He knows it's my hand. Yeah. Like that. He oh, thinks. look at that, Ruby. Good job. Mm. This is oh. going to be your best buddy. Oh, you gosh. Oh, <laughs> yeah? so that's for you. Keep him with you, you and he so will be your best friend. Thank you so much. And before you leave, you gotta find a name for him. Oh, oh no. You can call him Carl if you want. I will not be offended, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we are in our overwater chalets, and oh my god, I feel like we were just transported to the Maldives, but it's even better because there's so much conservation work in this resort. But first, oh my God, before I get ahead of myself, let me show you the room because I know you're excited to see it. First, you come in through here. Hello. Ta -da. So as you enter, you've got this really cool seating area, your coffee set up, you got a mini refrigerator in here with some things that you can drink, and we got this lovely bed with this beautiful towel <laughs> arrangement. How cute is that? Yeah. And it's super comfortable. We have checked that, right, Ruby? Yeah, and then here's my bed right over here. Yep. And you got a little friend. Yeah, uh, elephant. Yep, an elephant towel decor. So cute, we always love that. Beautiful. And they got this really cool big TV, which we won't even be using because we will be out there most of the time. And then, you gotta come see this. This is the best part. Ready, Ruby? <gasps> Look at this, you guys. Oh my goodness. 
It is so beautiful. I can't even explain it. It is so pretty. We have this amazing deck with this table that you can sit at and eat your meal, have your tea, coffee, whatever you want. And then literally you can come down this way and just jump right into the water. <laughs> it's so cool. No but you can literally come right out here and just go down these stairs and go snorkeling right from your deck. How cool. And the water is crystal, crystal clear. It's so cool. You wouldn't even know this is Malaysia. It literally looks like Maldives, like so nice. And also when it gets high tide, which they say it gets later on in the day, you can jump off the balcony right into the water and have so much fun, which we will be doing. Ah, what do you think, Ruby? So cool. Yes. I, just, I just want to jump in the water with my clothes on. I know, let's go. <laughs> let's go get changed. Yeah, let's go get changed. So we forgot to show you the bathroom. You come into here after you walk in and you have this amazing bathroom. Super spacious, super big. And the coolest ah! part yeah. is you literally have a whole window just looking out into the sea. Yeah. If you're into that, you can just do your business with this incredible view. And if you don't want to do that, there's some shades. So, so cool. So the resort we're staying at is called Guyana Marine Resort. So they're very, huh. very well known for their conservation efforts yes, here. Yes. As soon as we came here, we were introduced to the manager here. Mm -hmm. His name is Carl and he's so kind and he so informative. Really cool, yeah. But he just talked to us about the resort and how they are making like conscious efforts to try to conserve the wildlife uh, species out there and, and the, all the marine life. He was explaining to us how there are a lot of animals that are on the verge of like becoming endangered because of like mass fishing and everything. They have a whole marine place here where they are trying to conserve the lives of those fish. Mm. That, that's why they say um, mass... <laughs> they say mass fishing is it's getting to be a problem. Normally it's not a problem when it's like in moderation and with this, but like it's becoming a problem for certain fish species. Yeah, for sure. Yes, and they, they have a whole exhibit here uh, where we can go and do like a little guided tour and they can teach us about the marine life they have here and mm -hmm. more about their conservation efforts, which we definitely will be doing. Yeah, sure. But we are dying to get in this water yeah. and to get wet because we are sweating and we yeah. are so excited and we just want to go. So we are going to get in there. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. La, 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 la. Everyone I come and we should have fun. La, 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 la. Everyone I come and we must have fun. So we got our snorkel gear. Yes. We got Ruby a little life jacket right. just in case. She's ready to go. She's ready to go. We we got the hopes that we're gonna find a seahorse. Yes, they said. He they said, said on a good day if you're lucky. Yeah, you know, he said you if you're lucky. Seahorse, which is the one animal that I'm dreaming <laughs> to see in the water because it's, true. it's not something no, that you see all the time. Dolphins. But I'm looking for sharks. So dolphins. You're dolphins. For dolphins. I don't think the dolphins will get through here. Here we go. Woo! You're doing it, girl. Nice job. Ruby, you're doing such a good job. Is it pretty under there? <laughs> yeah. What do you see? A fish? Yeah. You're doing so good, Ruby. What do you see? Really? You see little fish? Yeah. Are they nibbling by my toes? <laughs> no. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. You want to go see school with us? That would be so cool, right? <laughs> you did such a good job. You're welcome. This is great. No waters in your bag, I think? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Alright, I'm going to come and join you. Alright? Everyone I come on, we must have fun. Every day we say that things is hard. Yes, we know that things really hard due to how no money na run. But come along, make we have some fun. La 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 la. la. Everyone a come and we should have fun. La 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 la. la. Everyone a come and we must have fun. Come Israelites, come. Come Caymanites, come. Come Jamaican, come. Run, come, make we have some fun. La 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 la. la. Everyone a come on, we should have fun. La 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 la. la. Everyone a come on, we must have fun.
Hey guys, so we just finished up the snorkeling. It was really fun. We got changed up and into our clothes. And the snorkeling adventure was really fun. We literally went really far away. A lot farther than we thought that we were going to go. We just came to dinner. There is a beautiful restaurant here on the island. I don't know if you can see this behind me, but it's perfect. But we just ordered our food and uh, they brought over some they brought over this little paper with somebody somebody on it and then they gave me these pencils nice. and I'm just working on the hair. I'm drawing her hair black. Tell everyone what you're wearing. Dress herself, clearly. She dressed herself, yep. Purple dress and then she has a blue skirt. I repeat, a blue skirt on top and then this crazy looking hat. Gotta love that personality. Yeah, that's what happens when you let five girls dress themselves. But we're on vacation, so it's fine. What'd you get? I got a burger with some um, fries. Look at that burger. That's bigger than you, Ruby. That's a big burger. That burger is bigger than you. They didn't have a kid's menu though, so. <laughs> and look what I got. This is their special salad. It has lettuce, some chicken, some mangoes, some feta cheese, some grilled bell peppers, just a whole bunch of things. And I am so excited to eat it. It smells delicious. I got a barbecue beef pizza. It has a bunch of different kind of beef meat and barbecue sauce and mozzarella cheese. Good. It's so good. So Is delicious. Good, yeah. The fries are. The fries are good. A few moments later. So we just came back to our room. Yes. We ate dinner. It was actually really good. Yeah. So delicious. Yeah. But it is actually sp sprinkling a little bit right now and the sun is setting but there are so many clouds. It's still very pretty here. And it's really pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty and we're just sitting here enjoying some beverages. Today has just literally been so magical. Like I feel like I'm so high on life right now. Snorkeling was so fun and Ruby, you did such a good job, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. This was the first time we've gotten Ruby to really get get the hang of snorkeling. snorkeling. Yeah. And who did we see under the sea? Who'd you find? Nemo! Nemo! Yes, we found you Nemo. You saw Dory. Yes, we saw Dory too. We saw too. Nemo and Dory. We I found know. them both. We found them both. But yes, we are just going to enjoy the rest of this peaceful time. Yep. So we'll probably be seeing you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. So we woke up super early to uh, see the, the sunrise on the beautiful, so beautiful water here. Now we're just all caffeinated up, headed to uh, see what they have for breakfast because you get complimentary breakfast, yeah. which is uh, probably two of the best words in the world <laughs> you could put together. <laughs> so we excited. So we just got a um, bread basket because there's muffins and croissants and jams and butter yeah you have everything yeah you guys they just keep bringing out more food like now we just got a whole fruit platter and we've been digging into these goods and they're so good and they're warmed up it's so delicious and this isn't even the, the main breakfast this is extra things that just come with it I'm literally i'm literally still on my second thing so good see the water you got it. Woo! How did she do it? She didn't have to it. That's how Okay, I'll do it. Do it. No! no. Good job, Ruby. Oh, Let's do it again. So, guys. We got a kayak to go through the mangroves here. And a little surprise, they got glass Look. bottoms. Look, jellyfish. We are entering the mangrove forest. Is it and mangrove? Huh? Is it mangrove? Mangrove. Mangrove? Mangrove. I think it's mangrove. It's mangrove and mangrove? You can already hear the forest sound. Ah, it's so cool. Oh man, this is cool. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh my God, it got cooler somehow. Yeah, it did, thank God. It's so cool. It's so peaceful. Yeah. Wow, Tim, it looks like glass, like, so cool. like very cool reflection. Right away, it's all you. 
Look at you. You're standing. Look at you. You're paddling us. So cool. We are definitely getting our Malaysia bucket list filled because this was high on the list of people's recommendations to go through a mangrove. And it is amazing. First Incredible. off, who even knew there was mangroves in Malaysia? Who even knew there was half the things we've done in Malaysia in Malaysia? Malaysia definitely has to be on your bucket list because yeah, it, it is filled. All of Malaysia with, too. Yes, all of this amazing stuff. You've got beautiful beaches, the city, the diversity, the culture here is just incredible. The mangroves were amazing. Now, time for more snorkeling. Say the whole thing special amba, special amba, special amba. Whole we drink special amba. How the happy how we shall be. Say the whole we love together, together, together. Whole we talk together. How the happy how we shall be. Cause your friend is my friend, my friend. The more we burn, the cali, the cali, the cali. Say the more we burn, the cali, how the jolly how we shall be. Cause your brethren is my brethren, my sister is your sister. More we burn, the cali, how the happy how we shall be. If you burn, the cali, don't keep up, no folly. If you keep up folly. We snorkeled and we just ate some lunch and now it's time to go to the marine center. <laughs> The show. <laughs> okay, now me. Now Ruby. Ooh, get it, girl. Do it. <laughs> Cute. Your turn. What am I supposed to do? Get it, Mama. Just do what you want to do. Oh my! If you fall, I will pee on the street. <laughs> The first part of this tour is the auditorium. They're going to show us a quick video about all of the stuff they do here. Mm -hmm. And we're the first ones here. Mm -hmm. And the AC in here is popping. Yes, and Super it's just nice. like a movie theater. It's just like a movie theater. Just like a movie theater. It is, yeah. Yeah. Yes, we're going to learn all about the conservation efforts that they're making here. And Very we cool. have been making some shows. Yeah, we have put on the show while we wait. Yeah, you guys are welcome. <laughs> Made our own show. Mark is located at the doorstep to 5,000 hectares of the Tunku Abdul Rahman Park and is determined to arrest the decline of giant clam populations by introducing an active giant clam propagation program. I don't know what it is either. Okay, it's a Ruby, we don't touch him. It doesn't feel cool. Wow. <laughs> That is so cool, Ruby. You gotta try it. Oh, that's the sea cucumber. It's damaged the reef. However, there is a problem. It feels like Play Doh, kind of. The area where these, you look for those part that is white area, that is the one that goes into the cement. Okay. Okay? So when you put it into the cement, you just uh, gently push them. Not all the way down, as long as they are standing upright. Good job! Good job! Hi, hi, baby. You just planted a coral. Hi, guys. So. We just made it back home. Yep, we went to the Marine Center and it was an incredible experience. Uh -huh. Also, on the ending, we got to touch some um, starfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is extremely cool for kids. If you have kids, I would highly recommend you come to this resort. This is so cool. It was basically like a mini lesson about all the conservation efforts they do around here and you learn more about the marine life that you 
things you probably didn't know like we didn't know a lot of things that we learned yeah we learned that like um we learned the different ways that like people have had like an impact on the marine life and the sea life and all that around here and mm -hmm. what they've done to yeah. like help negate that and all that so that was yeah. really cool to learn about all that well yeah. i didn't need to learn about all about that because i knew some things did you yep. when we first got there he gave us a little bit of information about why they started all of this and then we watched a short movie about um the clams. Apparently there's a huge problem with giant clams here. There's eight species of giant clam around the world and seven of them are actually in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. But uh, he said in like 2006 or so there was uh, two of them that were locally extinct. Yes. So they basically just weren't around here anymore. Mm -hmm. But he said uh, like ever since then they've been working on like how to get them back. So they like fly them in from different countries and then they like, started breeding them. Yeah they start breeding them in their water. Mm -hmm. He says that like they once they get them from the other countries they like put them in like the tanks and they have to sit in there for six months and then they can start to breed them yep i don't know how long they it takes to breed them and all that also we saw them like when they were babies and when they were little kids <laughs> yes you yes you did ruby do you remember what they eat plankton yes plankton and what are clams jobs in the water um to clean eat. yeah to keep the coral reefs clean right they provide a nursery for the fish and also they make homes for the fish yes good job and the fish can hide Material. yes good job so giant clams are very important in the marine life and also they were doing amazing things here where they were taking broken coral that um might have broken from a bunch of things like uh like, like anchors from strong, boats like, yeah, like strong, strong waves strong waves mm -hmm. and then like like just snorkeling and like scuba diving like one of your fins could like hit it and knock it over so there's mm -hmm. a bunch of different things that could ruin coral they have like a diving program where they like dive under and then collect the broken coral basically and then we replanted it essentially we replanted it yep we put it in like little cement things yeah. and then they after they are dry after six days i think he said i think he said six days. um they go ahead and take those and then put it in the water mm -hmm. and, and they have like this little like thing garden. where they put like garden under the water and they put it in there they wait for it like to be ready and then they take it out and put it at the places. Yes, <laughs> good job, you're so smart. And we learned all about the different types of yeah. coral, didn't we? The soft coral and the, the hard coral. Yes, good job. Which one which one does Nemo live in? Uh, the soft coral. Yes, yeah, good job. And what did we learn about the anemones? That the The poisonous. Yes, and then what um what do the Nemo fish have to do? They um they do this dance <laughs> yep <laughs> and then when they're done with the dance and then they can go in. so they can become immune to the poison yep yep there are so many cool things that we learned from there i, I more than we could even talk about mm -hmm. it was too yeah, much was but um very cool and we highly recommend you come here and do this like honestly Definitely. it succeeded okay. our expectations by so much so yeah we are just we're so blessed that we are able to yep. come here and make this happen and who knew like malaysia would have a place like this it is <laughs> mind-blowing we had no idea yep. that this could be found in Malaysia. You don't have to go to the Maldives to have crystal clear blue waters yes. with amazing coral reefs and see so many different types of fish and snorkel. If you want to see Nemo, you can literally find him here anywhere. So if you don't like snorkeling, then it's not scary at all. Mm -hmm. And you would love it if you if you don't try, you would not like it at all, but practice. Yeah, Chris. practice. And then you'll love it? Yes. So I guess this is where we're going to end Yay. this. Um, we are going to just go out and explore more of the water, but I'm sure you're sick of seeing all of that. <laughs> so we're going to leave you guys here. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.